I think there is a misconception about oats that they're a little bit boring and really just an oat cakes and porridge. And people don't realise that, first of all, they are delicious. And secondly, they're really versatile. So, for instance, they bring texture to lots of dishes. They bring crunch to fish dishes. I mean, oatmeal and herring is a traditional thing, but you can spin that out into salmon and sea bass and other fish. And it gets a beautiful crust on the outside. In baking, in muffins, in scones, in bread, oatmeal bread is fantastic, especially with rolled oats over the top to give it that, the crust to give it that little bit of texture and flavour. And of course, in desserts, you know, they've been used for centuries in desserts, so in cakes and in, in, and in biscuits. And I think most importantly for oats is the slow release of the carbohydrates, so that if you are to energise with an oaty dish, it keeps you going for a long time. Oats are what we call slow release carbohydrates and that means that they can help keep blood sugar levels stable and if blood sugar levels are stable then that can um, help regulate appetite so you don't get hunger pangs between meals. They're a really good choice for breakfast and also lunchtime and evening meals as well. Oats are able to actively lower your cholesterol. Um, they contain clever little substances called beta-glucans which can actually bind with cholesterol and stop it being absorbed. So that actively lowers your cholesterol. So they're very important in terms of heart disease risk because lowering your cholesterol is a very important factor in lowering heart disease risk. So whole grains are the whole of the grain. So it contains all the different components that give the health benefits. And what's interesting about oats is when they're processed, they tend to retain all of these different elements. So when you see oats on the label, you know that it's going to be a whole grain. Oats contain lots of the traditional nutrients like the protein and carbohydrate um, and also fiber. They also provide some other uh, nutrients known as antioxidants. Um, and so all of these work together to provide the health benefits associated with oats. Oatmeal for me gives us two great cooking qualities. First is its flavor. Um, which uh, you know, I am a fan of, I just, I just like the flavour. Um, and secondly, it's texture. Um, and one of the dishes is, is we're, going to, we're going to do some salmon in an oatmeal crust. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of smooth grain Dijon mustard, just rub that on the outside, uh, both sides. Not so much that you're going to have large um, puddles on the outside that are going to burn in the pan, but just enough, okay, so that when you put it into a tray of medium oatmeal, and turn it over, the, the oatmeal sticks to the outside of the, of the fish. Right, so pan just warmed through there. A uh, little bit of olive oil, and just give that a swirl, and just oil, in goes the salmon, just enough heat, no more, just to give it a little bit of a sizzle, so it will brown up, which will take about two minutes, and then I'll flip it over, and by the time the other side's done, the salmon's cooked. And then we just take a nice, this lovely kind of mustard sauce with the chives round like so. And the idea behind these dishes as well is that they're easy, simple to do at home. We're going to do, stuff some peppers, sweat off an onion in a mixture of olive oil, a little bit of butter, chopped nuts. And we've got some walnuts, some Brazil nuts, and some pecan nuts in there, just roughly chopped up, and rolled oats. Um, this is just standard uh, rolled oats rather than the, than the jumbo. Although I think the jumbo would be very nice in here. I think you uh, yeah. Um, seasoning, again, a matter of personal preference. I would add just a, a, a pinch of, of salt. Uh, quite a lot of freshly ground black pepper. And I think the, the combination of oats and pepper is a really good, uh, good one. Um, we're just going to cook that out quite quickly. Um, these will cook in the oven so we don't actually have to toast the oats in here, we just want them to really absorb the uh, butter and the oil which will have been flavoured by the onions. Um, a nice big bit of basil in here, stalks and all, uh, just going to roll that up, roughly chop it. Um, we're using basil but you could use parsley or um, I suppose you could even go down the sort of coriander route in this, maybe put some chilli in here if you wanted, put some garlic in if that was uh, going to float your boat. But we're being very sort of traditional um, and not too many ingredients either. So. Very, very simple. That's really the filling. Um, and then we're just going to st stuff them into the peppers, like so, and put the lid on, chuck them in the, uh, in the oven, and they're going to they're roast in the oven for about 30 minutes until, until they start to sort of uh, squidge down a little bit. The juice from the pepper will get soaked up into the oaks inside. 
there are lots and lots of different ways of, of using oats to uh, help to not only feed your family well, give them delicious food that's good for them, but also save a few pennies. Well, we've had lots of different studies, so lots of epidemiological studies have been conducted. And what they've shown when we look at different populations is people who tend to eat more whole grain, including oats, have a lower risk of some of the chronic diseases like heart disease and diabetes and obesity. So including oats in your diet is a very positive uh, impact on your long-term health. But if you're managing your cholesterol, it's really nice to be able to eat more of something rather than have to cut down on something. So oats are perfect because you can uh, eat plenty of oats in your diet. And of course, they're very, very easy to cook with. You can throw them into soups and stews and smoothies. Um, Mum doesn't have to worry too much about soaking them overnight because we've got lots of different types that are ready to eat straight away. And you know that you're getting the whole goodness from the whole grain.